Right now, we are so honored to have two-time Olympic champion from Russia to be with us, namely Yevgeny Pushenko. Yevgeny, great to have you with us. Welcome aboard. Kogdila. Hello, everyone. Hello, my friends. Ni hao. There you go. Ni hao, ni hao. Spasiba. Uh, Yevgeny, let me just cut to the chase right here with the uh, Beijing 2022 Winter Olympics around the corner and drawing closer and closer. What might be your expectations for this big occasion, if you will? Well, I know 2008 you did the, uh, such a great Olympic Games uh, summer. Mm -hmm. So uh, 2000, uh, uh, 2022 you will have the Olympic Games winter. Everybody waiting for uh, Olympic Games um, uh, Beijing uh, 2022, and maybe maybe I will come also to see the great performing opening ceremony, final ceremony, uh, of course the competition, figure skating, uh, hockey, so maybe ski. Uh, my my president uh, Vladimir Putin, he will uh, he will enjoy it for the opening and he will see uh, the Olympic Games. So. I'm so proud. I'm so proud. My president and uh, uh, he will go to see uh, uh, opening and Olympic Games right. 2022. So it's very important for us. You will make the such a great um, Olympic Games for sure. All right. We'll be very happy to have him, of course. You know, um, in terms of your, your personal visit or involvement, you said you might have a chance to come to Beijing as well. If so, in what capacity would you be involved for this occasion? I would like to see Olympic Village because I used to uh, skate four times in Olympic Games. So, of course, I would like to see Olympic Village where the uh, athletes live, uh, the, the food, uh, tra transition to the, mm -hmm. to the venue. So, of course, for me, very interesting. For me, very interesting how you will make. But for sure, it's going to be the high level, high class. Thank you. Thank you for your kind words, really. I would say, I can only say in Russian, спасибо. But uh, you talked about the competitions, actually. You know, who might be, in your eyes, the gold hopefuls in the men's figure skating, which, of course, was your forte in the past in Beijing this time? Men's event is going to be incredible. Uh, you, you can see that this, uh, these skaters, I mean, this is already legends, for example. Yuzuru uh, Hanyu, of course, the Patrick Chen. So they're gonna fight uh, together, and we don't know who who can uh, who can win. Uh, they they can win both of them, you know, because they such a strong skaters, such a strong uh, athletes. Uh, well, we have also the Russian uh, skaters right now. I can announce the uh, Mikhail Kaleda. He can uh, be in the podium because he is um, he is also great skater. He, his line and his jumps also strong. Well, we have also the Shomauna, uh, Japanese skater. Yes, yes. Also strong. And we have also Boyan Jin, uh, also strong skater. So it's going to be big fight. So you think we're going to see uh, Axel uh, Prodropos this time in Beijing? Probably. <clears throat> Yeah, the Yuzuru Hanyu can uh, can uh, can make the risk, and uh, in a long program, yeah, uh, he can he can be first skater ever who make the who try or who make uh, in Olympic Games. Mm -hmm. What and a half axle. Right. So you are lucky. Who's such a lucky? I know. Can't wait for that moment, really. So Yevgeny. Uh, before the home crowd, as you experienced in the uh, 2014 Sochi Olympics, a Chinese uh, home uh, athletes or players could really be facing a lot of psychological pressure as well. So with your experience, what do you think Chinese athletes should do to really minimize the uh, personal pressure before the home crowd when they actually are undergoing this kind of uh, moments and pressure? Well, in 2014, uh, I used to skate in Olympic Games at my at my home mm -hmm. uh, in my country, in Russia. So, you you're right. It was big pressure for me mm -hmm. because everybody waiting the clean program, the best result. Everybody screaming. Everybody like clapping. We have a lot of flags. 
for me it was hard mm -hmm. to skate but uh, I was uh, my age it was 31 years old so for that time I know how to to concentrate I know how to skate uh, because well more than 20 years uh, I skated I performing uh, in front of the uh, crowds mm -hmm. because I love to I love I, I love to to skate I love to uh, working. Oh, oh, there you go. That's Opa. your son, Sasha, right? That's your son, Sasha. This is my son, Sasha. Yeah. Hello. How are you, <laughs> Sasha? I'm pretty. Okay. You speak English. I know that. I know you're also doing skating now. Definitely, your father is your role model, your inspiration. Am I right, Sasha? Yes. I'm with him every day on the practice, and I told him, you must be much better, much better than your father, mm -hmm. for sure. I would like to ask one more question. You know that right now, there are a few uh, Western countries taking this kind of uh, diplomatic action, if you will, towards the Beijing Winter Olympics. Um, however, there are other voices as well. I would like to pick your brain on that. What is your take on that, sports versus this kind of... Uh, diplomatic action, so to speak? Sports must be, be sports mm -hmm. without politics, without this situation, what we have uh, also with Russia. We have a lot of sanctions, a lot of uh, things. So what I'm thinking, sport must be clear. So finally, would you give our uh, audience your wishes for the upcoming new year and also for this big occasion of the Winter Olympics. And the floor is yours, Evgeny. Uh, my friends, what I can say right now, also very hard situation in all of the world with pandemia. Be strong and be healthy, be healthy. And enjoy, enjoy competition, enjoy Olympic games. I know for sure, uh, 2022 Beijing is going to be successful, mm -hmm. uh, strong, powerful, and very interesting competition. Good luck, all of the world. Good luck. Good luck, China. Hello, Shaw. Spasiba. Thank you very much, Sasha. Way to go and look up to your father. We expect your success down the line as well. Again, thank you so much and uh, all the best to your, you and your family and to the Russian delegation in the upcoming Winter Olympics as well. Yevgeny, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.